Welcome to the screencast of Introducing Mediation Debugger in WSO2 ESP Server. I'm Himansha Guruge, a software engineer at WSO2. We will start off with an introduction to Mediation Debugger capabilities, followed by how to debug a simple mediation flow with this debugging support. ESP Mediation Debugger is available from ESP5 onwards and it helps to debug the message mediation flow of the artifacts deployed in ESP server. It lets you debug mediation flows available under different tenants and lets you resume the debug flow from one breakpoint to another. There are two prerequisites required to try out this feature. One, WSO2 ESP5 distribution pack. Two, WSO2 ESP5 tooling component. To get the tooling component, you can either install ESP5 tooling feature on top of Eclipse distribution or install on top of Developer Studio kernel or simply download the Developer Studio distribution which has ESP tooling 5 installed. In the screencast, third option will be used. However, you could check out the above blog post to try out the other two options. To try out the mediation debugging flow, a simple proxy service will be deployed in a composite application known as a car file. In this proxy service, we will be invoking echo string array operation of echo service, which is available by default in WSO2 servers. This is an overview of the request response format sent across ESP server in this use case. Initially, the client will be sending a request with first name, last name, and ID properties and will be getting the final response as below. To create the proxy service, open up Developer Studio distribution with ESP tooling installed and open up the dashboard. You could do this by selecting the Developer Studio menu and select Open Dashboard. Now click Proxy Service, Create a new proxy service, Next. Give the service name as Echo Proxy Service and select the link Create New ESP Project. And select New ESP Config Project next and give the project name as Echo Project. And click on Finish. Since we are invoking the Echo Service, under endpoint URL, you can give the echo service URL. You can get this from the services section of your ESP servers management console. Now click on finish to create your proxy service. This is the design view of the proxy service and you could go to the source view to add your proxy configuration which we discussed a few minutes ago. Under in sequence, we have used the property mediator to retrieve the first name, last name, and ID property values from the client's initial request. Then the payload factory mediator will be building the payload expected in the echo service. Finally, send mediator will be invoking our backend echo service. Under out sequence, property mediator will be used to retrieve the first name, last name and ID property values from the echo service response and payload factory mediator will be building the final client response. Once you are done adding the mediation flow, you could save your proxy service and the next step is to create the car file. For that, go to Project Explorer, right click and select New other composite application project next and give the project a name and under dependencies select the ESP config project we created a few minutes ago and click on finish. Now you can export this car file by right clicking on the project and selecting export composite application project and select the export destination. Once this is done, we need to create the debug configuration. Once the ESP server starts up in debug mode, it will listen to port 9005 
and 9006 by default, which is set in synapse.properties file located in your ESP Packs repository clone folder. If you need to change these boards, this file needs to be updated. Now back to creating the debug configurations. Select this icon drop down and select debug configurations. You could also do this through run menu debug configurations. Now double click on ESP Mediation Debugger and the values will be set with the host being the local host. Before you click on debug button, go to your ESP server's bin folder and start the server in debug mode with this command. Do note that after the equals sign, you need to provide your respective tenant domain name, where in this case, we will be starting with super tenant. Now, execute this command and start the server. Once the server starts listening to the debug ports, Go back to your debug configuration and click on the debug button. Now your server will start up. Once the server is up, log into the management console with admin admin credentials and now you need to deploy your exported car file. To do that, go to carbon applications at option. Once the car file is successfully deployed, Go inside your car file, select the proxy service and select try this service and send a sample request. In the response, you could see that the last name and ID values are there, but we are missing out on the first name value. Now you could try out the mediation debugging flow to figure out what went wrong. Go to your proxy service design view and add breakpoints. You could do this by right clicking on a mediator and select toggle breakpoint. Here we will be adding breakpoints to payload mediator and send mediator of both in and out sequence. Once you set the breakpoints, go back to try its service and send another request. Now the debugging flow is triggered and you can open up the debugging perspective which will outline the current suspended breakpoint in red, which is the payload mediator of the in sequence. Open up the Synapse scope properties and check the values. Last name and ID property values are available. However, for the first name, it is empty. Go to your proxy configuration and check the property mediator for the first name. We could see that a slash is missing and the expression for the first name is wrong, hence the empty value. Now, to continue the debug flow, you could enter a correct value to first name and press enter. Now, if you click on the resume button, the debugging flow will proceed. And now you can see that the send mediator is sending a proper request to echo service. Click resume again and it will stop at the next breakpoint, which is the payload mediator of the out sequence. Let us check the Synapse score properties again. Echo L name and Echo ID are having values. However, Echo F name is empty. If we check the proxy configuration, we can see that the property expression is missing out the return element and a slash. You could also figure out the proper expression by checking the message envelope view, which will provide you the response sent from the echo service. Now, to continue with the flow, add a proper value to echo F name property and press enter. Now, if you resume, the expected output will be sent from the send mediator. Now, if you are to restart the server and send a request, the debugging flow will not get triggered. This is because when the ESP server configurations change, the breakpoint information is lost as well. To avoid this, you could right-click and select Recent ESP Breakpoints from the Design view of your proxy service. By doing so, now when you send a request, the debug flow will get triggered. So that's a brief introduction on how to get started with Mediation Debugger of WSO2 ESP Server. You could look up following links for more information on this. Thank you.